like this message for a special video on Seb Sanford's YouTube channel. Wait, why am I wearing an Optimus Prime helmet? Okay, uh, first of all, it's too dark in here to record an intro like this, so I'm gonna have to record somewhere where it's much more brighter. So, in the meantime, um, roll the intro clip. <laughs> it, get, it never gets old. <laughs> Thank you, food juice. It's one of my favorite bits from Transformers in 2007. <laughs> oh my god. Oh okay, that's much better. Much more lighter and perfect time to start my intro on this video. Anyways, hey guys, this is Seb Sanford and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back once again to another special GalaxyCon video right here on my YouTube channel. And in this GalaxyCon video today, I'm gonna to be talking to two voice actors who happen to be in one particular franchise. And they have also done a numerous amount of animated projects throughout each of their careers. And I'm gonna be talking to them today via the GalaxyCon Transformers virtual experience. If you're watching this video right now, this was recorded on Saturday, the 24th of April, 2021. And I am, of course, going to be talking to the voice actors, Peter Cullen, a fellow Canadian voice actor, and Frank Welker from Transformers. If you're not familiar with any of their work, uh, Peter Cullen voices Optimus Prime, and Frank Welker voices Galvatron and Megatron, and probably a different selection of Transformers that they've each played through the cartoon movies and all the way up to CG live action TV shows and, and movies, of course. And if I'm going to talk to Peter and Frank via GalaxyCon, I'm going to be talking to them in style, being the sitting passenger of a vehicle like this one. Safety first because Peter Cullen and Frank Welker as Transformers, um, an Autobot and Decepticon, and they are disguised as vehicles like this here car and different types of vehicles like tow trucks and planes, etc. Anyways, I hope you enjoy my virtual chat with Peter Cullen and Frank Welker of Transformers and many different projects that they've done over the years. And stay tuned after the video for a special message from myself. Anyways, enjoy and I'll see you there. Stay tuned. Hey Frank. Hi there, we're gonna take a really quick picture, okay? Ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Perfect. Okay. Hi Sam. Good to see you, Frank. Thank you, you too. Yeah, and I've got, I've got some questions relating to your Transformers movies, like from start to finish, and I'm okay. sure you have a couple answers. Okay, let's get started. All right. First question is, um, how do you train your voice for the low Galvatron and Megatron voice in Transformers? And were there any special vocal exercises that you had to do? Well, first of all, um, a Megatron was basically kind of a voice that I created on my own, uh, the early Megatron, G1. And that was uh, this voice here. And really? Kind of, and I kind of just threw a, a tightening of the throat, and it wasn't really too deep. But if you move in on the microphone, you can make it deeper. <laughs> and now that for sound wave, the key is definitely to move in the mic, but you don't have to talk loud. You just move in and I am Soundwave. <laughs> I am here to help you, my liege. <laughs> now on Soundwave, they also used, um, I think it's called a vocorder to add that uh, kind of uh, harmonic sound to it. Go, bee, 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 bee. <laughs> wow. And, uh, so, but that was a mechanical kind of aid. So that's, that's really how we did those two voices. It's amazing. And here's the second question. Yes. Um, out of out of all the Transformers movies that you and Peter Cullen um, have been in, which movie was your favorite and why? Um, 
it would probably i think i i think i, I, I can't really narrow it down to maybe one but uh I enjoyed doing the features because it was just so big and to see yeah. uh, Megatron and, and Optimus Prime on the big screen was fun. The G1 I loved because it was our first time together and we actually worked together in a room with the full cast. And then I really got a kick out of doing the Prime uh, series because that was CGI animation. Really? It was a lot different than anything else we 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 did, and we were able to work together again as actors next to each other, and actually, you know, in the same room. In the features, we would come in and and do our lines individually. So, I think I'd have to say, you know, all three I really enjoyed, but for different reasons. That's really interesting. And now, coming out of Transformers, I have a question on Scooby Doo. Uh -huh. um, and when you do the voice for Scooby-Doo, um, you use lots of vocal techniques. And how exactly do you do all of that? And is it hard to maintain this style of voice acting? Um, you know, I, I think uh, for Scooby, um, it is kind of visualizing the dog, you know, visualizing Scooby and he's got his wig down. <laughs> and then he's kind of sweet, but he's scared all the time. <laughs> So you just use all those techniques. Wow. And, Yikes. Scooby do we do? Oh my. Hey, look. It's Seb. Seb, I need you. Let's solve this crime. That's amazing. So that's amazing. Yeah, it's it's um visualizing and then feeling all those sounds and emotions for Scooby. And then it's pretty easy to do. It's really interesting. And very quickly, um, to end on a lighter note, um, I did spot um, Scooby-Doo in the trailer for Space Jam A New Legacy at the beginning of the month. And I thought I might like to show you a screenshot, if you can see properly, sure. of where I found the mystery machine and, and Scooby-Doo hanging out the window. <laughs> That's great. And Space Jam um, New Legacy, it's all about... Um, all things Warner Brothers movies and TV shows. Wow. And you created that. Um, no, I screenshotted it um, in the trailer just to give you proof uh, just to see that the mystery sheet machine was actually there. I see. I see. How you do. That's very cool. Well, thank you for doing that. And it's great talking well, with you. Yeah. Stay uh, safe you, and stay healthy. You too. Right back at you. Hey, Peter. Hi. Hey, good to see you. Thank you, sir. Thank right, you. Before we start, guys, we're going to take a, a quick photo together, okay? All right. Let's do it. All right, all right, here we go. Three, two, one. Perfect. Enjoy the chat. Anyway, thanks, Seb. I got to say, it's a great pleasure to see you virtually, and and, and, and I, I don't have any words, but, but before we start, I, I have something to show you as you play Optimus Prime. So here goes nothing. This is um, a fan of Optimus Prime wearing an Optimus Prime helmet. Cool. Wow. I just hey, thought man. I wanted to lighten the mood a bit. That's cool. Why, thank That's you. That's cool. Your voice activates that sound. It sure does. Oh, wow. That's great. And also, you happen to be Canadian, and so am I. Where are you from? Um, well, my family is from Toronto, but we live in the UK. Ah, whereabouts in the UK? Uh, around the Somerset area. Don't know it very well, but we were just in Liverpool, Manchester area. and uh, Really? A year ago, February. Uh, That's amazing. I, I love England, and I, I want to go back, and I want to do it, you know, in a car, preferably a convertible. <laughs> And I want to go all through England, and I want to go through Ireland and Scotland, and do it all. Wales, amazing. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, I've got lots of questions regarding to Transformers inside sure. and outside. And mm -hmm. question: um, Do you remember the first time you auditioned for the role of Optimus Prime in Transformers from way back when? Like yesterday. Like yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. I can. 
it, it's a vivid memory because it involves my brother Larry. Really? Mm -hmm. And um, we were living together. I was going through a little murky period of my life, and he had uh, ventured from the East Coast to live with me uh, in an apartment in Hollywood somewhere. And uh, I was, we only had one car and we were um, organizing, you know, who was going to have it when. And I needed it to go to an audition. And, and uh, he walked me out the door and he said, Peter, where are you going? And I said, I'm going to an audition for a show, a cartoon show, and um, to be a truck. And he laughed and he said, a truck? <laughs> I said, yeah. He said, what kind of a truck? He said, well, it, it, he's a leader. He's, he's a hero mm -hmm. truck. And he's going to be a, a big, he's going to be a hero. He said, well, Peter, if you're going to be a hero, be a real hero. Wow. Don't, don't be a Hollywood hero, you know. Don't be yelling and screaming and stuff. If you're going to be tough and you're going to be strong, be strong enough to be gentle. Wow. And I went, okay. You know, and the way he said it, his voice had dropped down, Seb, and, and he said it in such a way that it just hit me over the head as I was getting in the car. He said, you know, he laughed, 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 blah, 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 blah. <laughs> if you're going to be a hero, be a real hero. And you are a real hero. And so I just did Larry. I When I got to the audition, I just did his voice. And... Echoed the words the way he said them. That's amazing. That's how, that's how Prime came about. Prime became a former Marine Corps captain named Larry Cullen. And, uh, wow. And that's so all him. Yeah. And here's my next question for you. Um, besides playing Optimus Prime in the Transformers franchise, um, if you had to play another Autobot character in the franchise, um, who would it be and why? I enjoyed playing Ironhide. 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 And I'll tell you how I came about being Ironhide. The night before that character came alive in that show we were doing that following day, I had been watching a movie, an old movie, and there was a character, and uh, he talked like that. Oh, gee whiz now. And so uh, I just, I remembered the voice and I saw this picture of what he looked like, a big, massive, bulky, coming out of a van, you know, transformed from a van to Ironhide. And so I just impersonated the actor who who did it. That's amazing. Now let's go outside of Transformers for a bit and, and, as I am a fan of Winnie the Pooh, I know you played Eeyore in some of the Pooh movies, and I want to ask around one or two questions, if that's okay. Sure. And do you remember the first movie you watched before taking on the role of Eeyore? Um, it was a cartoon series that we did that originated me doing Eeyore. The short and feet. We had... Uh, uh, the Adventures, no, it wasn't The Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Maybe it was. I can't remember. It's been so long. But um, the movie we did, the Heffalump movie, uh, was after we did the series. But that uh, that's a long time ago, Sam. But gee whiz. <laughs> I, I thank you for forgetting what happened then. Anyways, here's the second question. Um, how do you manage to put on the gloomy voice for Eeyore, but still make him lovable? Well, uh, this is, I, I, I'll give you a little explanation. Okay. When, when the original Eeyore passed away oh. uh, and Disney came up with the auditions uh, in, in Hollywood to replace that actor who died, um, I always thought that the actor that did him was too gruff. Too gruff? Too gruff. Uh, there was no sympathy in it, in his voice. Uh, he was just a, a gloomy thing. And I wanted to give him more than gloom. I wanted to give him something a little more lovable. 
I, I, just, I, I took the gruffness out instead of hello, thanks for noticing me. I went hello, <laughs> thanks for noticing me. Yeah. It a little more light, a li little lighter. Yeah, yeah. you like you like Optimus Prime and Eo all rolled into one. <laughs> You're funny. Thanks, Seb. Thanks. Thank you. you. And very quickly before we finish off, I yeah. have a two. Uh, versions of Eeyore that I want to show you real quick. Sure. Um, this one um, is the Disney Nuimo's version of Eeyore in a snappy suit. That is? I, I got it from the Disney <laughs> store. <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's wonderful. Uh, you could get this on the Disney store website. Um, okay. Along with different types of clothing. And That's cool. Uh, and the second Eeyore I have is a Lego mini figure here. From the Lego Winnie the Pooh house set ah, that came out recently. Those are neat. Thank you for neat hearing that with me. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this video with me, Peter Cullen, and Frank Welker of the Transformers franchise enjoying the Galaxy Con virtual experience. And now it's time for a special message from me. And for my next GalaxyCon video, I'll be speaking to Brandon Ralph, um, the star of Superman Returns and Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. He's very famous for playing Superman in Superman Returns and Todd Ingram from Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. He's basically the third evil Lex of Ramona Flowers. So be sure to stay tuned on my YouTube channel for my talk with Brandon Ralph via GalaxyCon. And if you like what you just seen, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe today for new videos, and turn on those notifications. And you can follow me on my socials, links are in the description below. And for more details and to see the full schedule from GalaxyCon, go on over to the website. All the details are in the description as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.